Hi guys, today I'm going to do an introduction tutorial and access on making pivot tables out of a table. So here's our table if you've been following along with the access tutorials you'll be familiar with this table. I actually added an extra column of the state and so basically we want to make a pivot table which if you're not familiar with is a pretty common tool in Excel uh, but we want to do it in access okay and maybe we want to make a pivot table that summarizes the total salaries by each state okay so pretty much what we want to see is how uh, the total salary in New York the total salary in Connecticut the total salary in Texas okay so let's close this table start with a blank slate click on the table of interest just once then go to create more forms pivot table okay and if you're familiar with pivot tables you'll know that they're quite uh, flexible tools so first things first you want to add fields so click on this blank area and you get this pivot table field list okay now the pivot table we're making here is quite simple it can get more complicated but the cool thing about pivot tables is when you make a mistake you can always correct your mistake quite easily and I'll show you an example of that okay so first let's say I want to take state I grab state and I drag it and you see as I go over different areas of this blank area I get these uh, blue highlights okay so I can drop this when I let go of the mouse I can drop this field of state into these areas so let's start by throwing it into the column area okay so you see here's our states and it puts it in alphabetical order but we don't have any data in this area over here so there's nothing really that it's showing us yet so the next thing is like we said the salaries so let's grab salaries and since salary is data right in the form of numbers we're going to throw it into this drop totals or detail fields here okay and you see now what uh, access automatically does is it compiles the Connecticut salaries the New York salaries and the Texas salaries and it hasn't really given us a total what we can do is we could play around with it before we do anything else we can throw we can grab state click drag drop it into the row area and then we can pull it back and drop it back up to the column area we can even grab it up and put it up here into the filter area and over here we'd actually have to select Connecticut and we'd see Connecticut right or any combination okay but for our purposes I think row looks pretty neat so we'll stick with row okay now let's say we also want to add a little bit more detail into this pivot table by adding the people who work or, or, or who reside in each of these states so we can grab let's say their last name grab drag and we put it right next to state and see how that looks okay so that looks pretty good shows in Connecticut we have these two people New York we have these three people and in Texas we have these two people right and these are their respective salaries right now again I encourage you to play with this stuff until you get it to look how you like here you see I pulled it slightly to the right it made a slightly slight difference in the look and the feel okay see just a little bit of difference and uh, you know I encourage you to play around with it uh, honestly with pivot tables uh, it's one of the things it might not pay to spend too much time learning every single detail it might pay more to just play with them and uh, you know see what you get okay so we have some options here we can right click on let's say state and we can go we can sort by ascending in which case it's 
it was already sorted by ascending now we can sort it by descending now we can go back to ascending we can go within state and we can also uh, play with some other options we can show details we can hide details right within salary we can right click we can say auto calculate sum and that will give us what we originally intended which was give us the sum in each state so the sum in Connecticut of salary is 117,000 and these are the two people these are their individual salaries I can click this minus sign get rid of the individuals of all these states and just see the totals I can I can hit plus and get the individuals back I can get rid of this grand total actually there's an option here to not show this I believe um, we'll find that but in the meantime back to salary we can also remove the grand totals we can grab it again throw it in the data area we can see other things like the count there's two people in Connecticut three people in New York two people in Texas there's other things like um, average minimum maximum and all kinds of other statistical stuff we can do here we can go to the properties of the sheet and play with some other options there's loads and loads of options that we can go on and on about uh, to no end but uh, the main idea is to play around with it and uh, until you to have it to a place where it looks how you want it to look okay and by the way to get rid of that subtotal we right clicked on state the grand total we right click on state and we remove subtotal we uncheck subtotal okay I think the count is extra too it doesn't look that good so let's get rid of those fields let's drag salary again you can always start from new that's the great thing about pivot tables okay so we can auto cal and just say some you see it keeps adding these things so to re to to just get what we want we must uh, actually click on that particular aspect and say remove so we don't want the counts so click on counts remove this is kind of a nice view in my opinion of each state we get to see the people in the state and their salaries and the total salary for the state which was our original goal but we played around with a lot of stuff in order to just so you get familiar with the workings of pivot tables okay so again these over here are your fields from your table okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the fields of your that you're interested in, and you're gonna drag them and drop them into these areas of the pivot table if you like them you keep them if you don't like them you could move them around right like this if you totally want to remove them you can grab them drag them a little bit off this area you'll get this delete sign that you see right here you see that change and you get rid of it and then you can start fresh so pivot tables are really cool they're really useful to summarize data and if you uh, don't know how to use them in Excel they're really important to an tool in Excel so make sure to watch that Excel tutorial video on pivot tables okay I'm gonna do a video right after this on how to make pivot tables uh, pivot charts in Axis which is which just adds one other dimension to what we're doing here and that dimension is it also uh, charts this stuff into bar graphs line charts pie charts whatever you need okay so I hope this video was helpful uh, make sure you watch the other access videos subscribe to the page share and practice 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 have a great day